Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to convert words into expressions. So an expression has three components, which are variables, numbers, and operations. A variable is just a lowercase letter that is used to represent an unknown value in mathematics. And an, um, operations are, of course, just the four basic operations we have in math, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So in order to convert words into expressions, one of the techniques is to underline, highlight, or circle your key terms. For example, if you have n divided by 7, the first step should be, like, you can either underline, circle, highlight. In this case, I'll be underlining. So you have to underline your key terms. Now, the key terms are going to be the components of an expression. We know that the components of an expression are variables, operations, and numbers. So we're going to highlight or um, underline our key terms. In this um, example, our variable is n. And the operation is kind of clear because it tells us it says n divided by 7. So it's telling us we are dividing. And our number is 7. Now that we have underlined all our key terms, it's kind of easier because we already know that we're dividing. Our variable is n and our number is 7. So in order to write this as an expression, it says n divided by 7. Now there's different ways that you can write this. Some people will write this as n and then use the division sign and then write 7. You could write it like this, but the most preferable representation when it comes to expressions is if you write it in fraction form. So you can write this as n over 7 because it means the same thing, n divided by 7. So this would be the converted um, expression from the words n divided by 7. Okay, so this was our first example. Let's go ahead and do another example. Let's say that we have 16 times the variable m. Now let's go ahead and underline our key terms. So we, know, we already know that our variable is m. Our um, number is 16. And in this case, the operation says 16 times m. We know that in mathematics, times kind of refers to multiplication. Like our times tables are our multiplication tables, right? So times is telling us that we are multiplying. So in order to write this as an expression, we know that 16 is being multiplied to m. Now, again, there are various ways we can also write this. So we can write this as 16 and then dot m we can write this as 16 parentheses m we can also put the parentheses around 16 and then write m so there's different ways but the most preferable representation of this would be just 16 and m written together now some of you might be wondering why don't we write this as 16 and then the multiplication sign which is an x and an m well because this makes it kind of confusing because some people might think that the x is also a variable that's why you will write this as 16 and m together so it tells us that we're multiplying them together all right so this was our second example which involved multiplication our next example involves addition so let's say we have f more than eight in order to write this into an expression, once again, we have to highlight, underline, circle our key terms. In this case, our variable is f, our number is 8, and the operation being used in this says more than. More than tells us that we're adding them together. So therefore, our operation is going to be more than or addition. So. In order to write this as an expression, we know that we are adding f to 8. We'll write this as f plus 8. We can also write this as 8 plus f because it doesn't matter in addition which order you write th them in, it, you're still going to get the same answer. However, once again, we don't know the value of f, so it really depends, but still you can write it in any order that you like. So you can write f plus 8 or 8 plus f. Okay. So our last example for today is going to involve subtraction. Now there's different um, ways that words can be written in order to write subtraction. So I'm going to give you guys a few examples. So let's say that um, we have 
6 less, oops, okay, so we have 6 less than R. Now, most of us would just say, okay, so first let's go ahead and do our um, key terms and I'll tell you, okay, so 6 is our number, okay, 6 is our number, our variable is R, and in this case, our um, operation is less than, so it tells us we're subtracting. Okay, in order to write this, most of us would just say, okay, 6 less than r. 6 is being subtracted from r, so this is going to be 6 minus r. Well, actually, this is incorrect. This is where um, most of us mess up because it says 6 less than r. You need to kind of concentrate and use a little bit of common sense. 6 less than r tells us that we have 6, and it's less than the variable r. That means we're going to have to write this as r minus 6. So 6 is less than r. That is how you're going to convert these words into an expression. Now we could also have this written as, let's say we have another example, let's say we have 5 less m. You can also see it written like this, 5 less m. This in, in this case will be 5 minus m because it says 5 and then less m. Another way you can write this when it comes to subtraction is you can say 15 minus q. So this will also be written as 15 minus with the subtraction sign and then q, okay? So this is saying if you have 15 and we're minusing or subtracting q. And then also, um, last way you could write this as, let's say we have 17 subtracted from, um, let's say we have the variable p. So it says that 17 is being subtracted from p. So this will not be 17 minus p, it's going to be p minus 17, because 17 is being subtracted or taken away from the variable p. So that's all for this video. And once again, um, writing words, uh, converting words into expressions is not at all a very hard topic because as long as you underline or circle or highlight, you know, whatever your key terms, and remember, key terms are just the components of an expression, which are variables, numbers, and operations. So as long as you do that, it should be really easy to convert words into expressions. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.